Hey guys, the preview for the Cheetahs versus the Sharks game. Look, uh, sorry, I'm a bit late with this preview. I enjoyed Christmas yesterday with the family. I hope you enjoyed it as well. But we're going to rugby now again. Boxing Day fixture today with the Western Province versus the Griquas. And then tomorrow, the Cheetahs versus the Sharks. Can't wait for that one. And it is going to be a big one because both teams have to win this game. If you look at the log, the Sharks, they are comfortably in third place or when i say comfortably they are in a playoff position but they can still be caught the cheetahs they need to win three from three games uh, that are left in this season if they want to get into the playoffs so they have to win everything that is left for their season looking at this game the cheetahs lost the last time they did play against the sharks the the sharks won 19 to 13 the most recent history between the two sides the cheetahs have only won two games out of their last five they beat the Pumas last week by four points. Very close there, actually. And then the Sharks, they lost last week uh, to the Lions by 15 points. They had a poor day at the office. And they have won four out of their last five games. So they have a better season so far. Tomorrow, it is going to be quite a hot day in Bloemfontein. Maurice van Veste is in being the referee. He has a tendency of giving out a couple of yellow cards in a game. So the discipline in this one has to be spot on. So looking at the two teams, both have made a couple of changes. Uh, last week, the Sharks made a lot of changes up front and that really cost them. The Lions scrum was dominant. The lineup was dominant. So they made a couple of changes. Obviously, at number three, John Hubert Mayer, he comes in. I think that will strengthen their side again with the scrumming. It is not Thomas Dutuay, though, so it's not as strong as it could be. Kieran van Vieren, he's at number two still. I think at line-out time, he did struggle a couple of times last week. But there is changes in their locking as well. I'll talk about that now. Up front for the Cheetahs, they have Mchunu, Van der Merwe and Fenter. So a strong lineup over there. They still are struggling to find their hooker though. Because they've lost quite a few this season. Everyone's going overseas. So Van der Merwe, he continues at number two. Uh, in the locking pairing, like I talked about, Wagner and Hichu, they continue. It's good because they, that's probably the best lock partnership they have. The other guy that they bought... Earlier this year, I think he came in November from the Griekwas Grunewald. He's moving overseas again next year already. So they lost another guy. The Cheetahs exodus is just continuing. If we go to number four and number five for the Sharks, they have Fortein who made his debut last week. And Ruben van Heerden, a little bit more experienced coming in. That's going to strengthen up their side a bit at, lock, at the line-out time. Hopefully for them. Then we get to the loose forwards. Dylan Richardson, he's been impressive this year. Really good on the ball at breakdown time. There's probably only two real breakdown contenders in South Africa at the moment for the Springboks. That's Marco van Staden and then Dylan Richardson. Obviously, you have guys like Krill and those guys that's a bit older. They can still get in there. Don't get me wrong, but he's a real prodigy to look out for. A lot better on the flank than at hooker, in my opinion. Then we get at number 7, Hinku Fenter playing against his previous team that he has captained before. And then Noche at number 8, still not in great form like he was previously earlier in this year. Then we get at number 6 and 7 for the Cheetahs, they have Ntila and Mohoje back from his injury yet again for the Cheetahs. He's just always injured. Hopefully he can get into form again. John Ray Rudolf, he's getting better now for the Cheetahs. Like I said, he's... Being out of form a little bit for, since he moved from the Pumas to the Cheetahs, he's looking a little bit better now. At number 9, the Sharks make quite a statement by putting in Jaden Hendricks uh, over Nohamba at number 9. But Nohamba did struggle last week, to be honest. A lot of the Sharks' attack was just halted by poor passes from Nohamba. It was either above Cohen Bosch's head or on the ground and a lot of knocks came from there. Jaden Hendricks, so when he came on, things did look like it's a little bit more stable. Ruben de Haas and Reinhard Fontaine, that's a very young partnership for the Cheetahs. De Haas, he's been doing okay, but again, same as Nohamba, a lot of poor passing as well. That just comes with experience. Reinhard Fontaine, also a youngster. He's l looking like he could be the real deal. Uh, not, not a lot of hype along with his name, but if you do look at him, he does attack the line well. He is a good distributor of the ball, so... I want to see how he goes up against Cohen Bosch, who's probably one of the inform number 10s in South Africa at the moment. Cohen Bosch, his boot is keeping the Sharks in a lot of games at the moment. Franz Stein, he is back at number 12 where he belongs. Jeremy Ward, he's going to face him. It's a smaller number 12, 
than Franz Stein, but Jeremy Wardy is a big defender or a good defender. Franz Stein, look, last week at number 10, he had one game at number 10. He didn't do what a number 10 is supposed to do and distribute the ball a lot. Like I said, a lot of it is down to poor passing and so on, but he did attack the line a lot like a number 12. Dries Swanepoel versus Lukanyo Am. Lukanyo Am, second game back for the Sharks. That's just going to improve for the side for the Sharks. At the wingers, there's some improvement for the Cheetahs. Roscoe Spickman, he is back from his injury. They did miss that guy with his flare out wide. William Smallsmith, he moves to the other wing. And then Blomikis is at number 15. The wingers for the Sharks, they have Penke and Corsi. Lubok, he's at number 15. I wonder how many games he has left in the starting team with Fassi being included on the bench. I'll talk about that now. But yeah, Lubok, he's going to have a great run on the bench, I think, because he can shift in at number 10 and 15. But I don't know if he can keep Fassi out of the side because that guy was in impressive form in the start of the year. Don't know how he's going to play now, though. Getting to the benches of both sides, there is some changes for both. The Sharks have a little bit more. Konrad von Fieden, I think it's going to be his debut for the Cheetahs. Nisi also finds himself on the bench along with Tian Meyer and Reino Smith. Those are guys that can improve the, the running game for the Cheetahs if they do come on. Chris Massain, also a guy to look out for for the Cheetahs. The Sharks, they have a guy like Mona and Kumbarai. Kumbarai struggled last time he did get a start Andrews, he's on the bench as well. That's going to improve their lineouts when he comes on. He is probably supposed to start most games. Grant Williams, a scrum half on the bench there. So they went with a 5-3 split this week. Werner Koch gets a bit of game time maybe this week. And then, like I said, Fassi is back from his injury. He did pick up. I'm excited to have him back because he's probably the number 15 that is in line to go to the spring box next. I think Gelant had a good argument there earlier in this season but he has a long-term injury now if Farsi is in great form he will probably be picked for the spring box so getting into the prediction it is such a difficult one to pick here because both teams have to win this one the Cheetahs they won last week the Sharks they lost last week if I have to go down to it the Cheetahs they just beat the Pumas who was probably a lot weaker than them supposed to be then the Sharks, they lost quite far to the Lions. That would probably be a wake-up call to them. But they are on the road now in Bloemfontein in a very hot stadium as well. So, look, I'm going to back the Sharks in this one. I think it's going to be a close one for most of the game. The Sharks might pull away. I think the Sharks to win this one by 7 points. Let me know your prediction in this one down in the comments below. Check out these other prediction videos, especially the Griquas versus a Western Province one for later today. And then I'll see you for the next one. Hit the subscribe button. Cheers.